Today we're going to go through hardware and computer systems. Our main objective is to be able to define the term hardware and to understand what a computer and an embedded system is. Starting off, we're quickly going to look at what a computer is. A computer is any kind of machine that takes some form of data in, processes it, and then produces an output. They're machines that are designed to make tasks easier for humans to perform. So hardware is basically any physical component on a computer. It's split up into two categories, core components and peripheral devices. Core components are essential bits of hardware that you need to run the computer. Peripheral devices are additional bits of hardware which are connected externally. They can be referred to as input devices or output devices. Now, as I said earlier, a peripheral device is an external piece of hardware. It usually adds some form of functionality to a computer system. They can be referred to as input and output devices. Input devices are used to put data into the computer. Some examples could include a keyboard and a microphone. An output device is used to present data to the user. And an example of this could include a printer or a speaker. Again, when you combine hardwares and softwares, we'll look at what software is in a later video. When you combine them together and allow them to process data and complete tasks, then you get something called a computer system. Computer systems that are designed for many different tasks are referred to as general purpose systems. Some examples include PCs, tablets, laptops, and smartphones. However, when you design a computer system to perform one specific task, it is known as a dedicated system. Dedicated systems can be referred to as embedded systems, and some examples of a dedicated system could include a traffic light controlling system or an air traffic controlling system. When you take a dedicated system and place it inside of a larger system, it is referred to as an embedded system. Embedded systems are computers built into larger devices. Some examples could include dishwashers, microwaves, and televisions. Embedded systems are often used as control systems. They monitor and control machinery. Um, they're dedicated to performing a single task and they're usually easier to design, cheaper to produce, and they're a lot more efficient at doing the one single task they are designed to do when compared to a general purpose computer.